Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Shout out to all my boom bap heads out there who love boom bap. Cause that's what we about to cook up today, all right? If this is your first time watching, I'm a music producer of over 10 years. And on this channel right here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap style beats. So today's video is sponsored by Boom Bap University. If you don't know about Boom Bap University, you should hit the link in the description below. And yeah, that's where you can get your cooking that Boom Bap masterclass, learn any and everything about Boom Bap because I put it all together in a two hour course for you with the sounds that I use to make the course as well. So hit the link in the description, grab up the cooking that Boom Bap masterclass at Boom Bap University. Let's get into the video. So I got this sample by the homie uh, Maserati Sparks. He sent me a sample pack a while ago and I just wasn't able to get around to like just checking out like what was in it. Um, so I finally was just going through, just kind of finding sounds, finding samples, just, just going through stuff. You know, the, the plethora of sounds that I have. Uh, so I found this sample from Maserati Sparks and his sample pack uh, called Cloud Nine. Crazy, right? Crazy. So I like that sample. I like what it is. I like what's, I like the keys. I like the bass in there. I just like the melody itself. So of course I had to throw it in the Fruity Slicer, the fastest thing that I can use. You know what I'm saying? I like Serato sample. I use that a lot, you guys know, but Fruity Slicer just allows me to sketch my ideas a little bit faster than Serato Sample. Just because I can just go to it, boom, it'll cut it up into what I needed to cut it up into. Um, whereas Serato Sample, yes, it does have an auto chop option, but it doesn't always work the way that you need it to work. So Fruity Slicer is like my alternative to figure out the idea. Then I probably could go back and chop it with Serato Sample if I need to, but if not, I'll just keep it in here. Of course, I'm using my Personas uh, Atom SQ. There are some people that said I didn't have it. Why would I? Why would I talk about a product I don't have? But first, I do. I think I want to find some drums. Though I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find like a dope drum loop and then maybe chop that drum loop up. I like that, that's kind of dope too. I'm actually gonna see what these two sound like. So I got one already that I like, which is this one. I like that, but I like this too. It's cause like the, the, the type of sounds that are in the sample, I kind of want to stick to that, you know, that style, that sound, you know what I'm saying? So. Got that chop. So I got a good little loop there. Um, maybe I can tune it down a little bit. Tune it up, I guess, I don't know. Ooh. All right, so now I have like a, like a pattern of the drums in my head that I want to put in, but I got to find like a good tempo. 170, I'm telling y'all, always find 170. 170 seems to be that tempo for me, I don't know. It's kind of different. That's kind of different. I like that. We'll see what it like sounds like when I put it all together. Make sure no notes are off here. This one and this one are off. So let's quantize those. 
everything else is back on point. Then we're going to make sure that everything is the same length. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, this just came together real fast and I like this. This is, this is super dope. So with the sample, I've put some EQ. Um, I'm adding the multi-band compression right now as I speak. And then um, maybe put like some delay on it too to kind of make sure that the keys have some type of little extra tail on them. Um, you know, it'll be tucked as well, but yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be dope. This is gonna be really dope right here. I can already hear it. I'm gonna switch up the last four to touch the last like four of the whole chops, of all the chops, so like this. Woo, this coming together real nice. I like this. Let me see though, because I think that I wanna go back up i just want to like mess with different pitches of the sample because i feel like it could give us a different vibe i like the lower vibe here but i think it's too somber you know what i'm saying it's too soft it's too we need to bring it up a little bit Woo! it's them soulful vibes right there boy I can hear Rhapsody on this. Rhapsody and Music Soul Child. Music Soul Child just maybe singing a hook and some background box, and Rhapsody just going crazy on here. I love this. So now I definitely gotta finish this this boy out for real because that's crazy right there. So let me see about some bass here. Oh my goodness, we be making some heat on this channel right here. I'm telling you, if you are not subscribed, you should probably subscribe right now so you don't miss any more of this heat. I'm telling you, I'm about to go nuts on this bass line right here. So I'm gonna drag it over so I can do like an eight bar, um, like a full, basically a full hook, so an eight bar hook. All right, y'all, so off camera, I did go back and add like um, another sax, you know, cause in boom bap, like just in the classical boom bap, they used to have stuff like that, you know? So, you know, with, with that, I just cut the EQ close to 300 Hertz and then put some delay on it and it gives it that effect. Now, I feel like I'm pretty much good with this beat. I think that I, I know that I could put like um, top lying like kicks, stuff like that. And I, I'll probably leave that for the end process before I put, actually release the beat. But for the most part, the beat is pretty much done because the drum loop pretty much had everything I needed in it. The sample has a lot in it. Um, I even added a dope bass line and I put some extra horns. So I'm gonna play back what I have so far just so you can kind of hear what I got. And then, you know, 
let me know in the comments what you think. You know, is this some classic boom bap or is it something else? Let me know. I know I love boom bap. I know you guys love boom bap. That's why you're here watching the channel. Yeah. So let me play the beat back. All right, everybody. So that is the end of the video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching the video today. If you are a member of the Patreon, or if you're a supporter of the channel on Patreon, these sounds are available now. Patreon.com slash they call me heat. You can get these sounds every single week uh, just by supporting the channel on Patreon, you know? Um, yeah, tap into the producer crate if you want samples like this every month. I got, you know, I'm dropping samples, drums all the time in there. So patreon is where to go all right i'm gonna get up out of here y'all make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram oh and your boy is now finally on tiktok so follow me on tiktok at they call me heat and yeah i'm out of here and until next time y'all peace